fans, the following contest is the Battle for Dearborn, scheduled for five rounds in the lightweight division. This fight is for the WXC Lightweight Championship, being brought to you tonight by FKNG Vodka, Motor City Automotives, and Fiber Bright Incorporated. Formally introducing all three men in the cage at this time, starting with your referee, James Lee. And now the fighters. First, fighting out of the WXC blue corner, wearing the red, black, and white trunks. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, he weighed in at 156 pounds. He is a freestyle mixed martial artist, representing Detroit Jiu Jitsu and Michigan Top Team. He comes to the WXC cage undefeated with a record of four wins, no losses and no draws, with one win coming by way of submission and two big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Dearborn, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, here is Abe the Killer al -Sagi. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the WXC red corner. Wearing the black trunks trimmed in white. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 154.3 pounds. He is a striking specialist, representing Diesel Fight System and Eastland TKO. He comes to the WXC cage with a record of 5 wins and 4 losses, with 1 win coming by way of submission and 3 big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Dearborn, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, here is Mike Quick Delivery Walker. This WXC lightweight championship will be decided in five rounds or less. Referee James Lee with final fight instruction. Gentlemen, we went over the rules backstage. I want a good, hard, clean fight. Be my commands at all times. Any questions? Let's touch them up. Let's go, All right, fight fans, as this fight gets started, Sakir out of the blue corner, red and black shorts. Walker fighting out of the red corner, black and white shorts. Yeah, it's a lot of firepower right here at 155. Uh, Ooh, nice and heavy. Fighting oh. for a championship. So there's going to be a little extra oomph on some of these strikes. <coughs> Sagir's shots, though, his elbow's a little outside, and the shots had, didn't have a lot on him because of it. Nice axe kick by yeah. Walker. Yeah, very creative in there, letting it all hang out. And Abe's trying to find his reach a little bit, too, because there's a lot of, a lot of height difference well, you know, normally to make through. He's got one speed in one direction. Yeah. And if you can stop him from that one direction, he's really going to be out of his out of his depth in his game plan. But he got in there nice and tight, quick, and he's got Walker pinned up against the side of that cage. Looked like Walker was thinking about stepping through, but he's really got no place to throw Sagir if he does. No, yeah. He is leaning really, really heavy forward, though. There was an opportunity, but I don't know where he'd go. Looking to dig that underhook now. And Sagir using the opportunity to try to rip that leg out. Now his hands together yeah, and crawling on, on top. Yeah, and he's in mount. I've seen this movie incredibly before. Incredibly low, but uh, this is this is his bread and butter. This is what he does. And we're in half guard. He's got to be careful leaving that head like that. I like when he drives it forward and tries to stick it on the back. It's hard to choke a guy from there. Now he can start to work it out. He's got a really big shoulder. He can really tuck that, that chin up against as well. That seems to, there we go. to be the way. Uh, great finding him trying to climb and climb and climb right now, but still in, still in half guard. So, Well, as soon as Sagir got his head loose, Walker took the arm away with the overhook. But now Sagir with it back and, and making Walker pay for giving it to him with a couple of quick shots. Yeah, and half guard is not necessarily bad because it means he can't run the cage. So especially pinning him up on this side. 
Sakir just such a grinder, though. Yeah, look at that head. He's either grinding his head into you or looking now for the arm in. Walker's, Walker's head was about oh, to come out. about to pop out, and then he reset it, and this looks... He let Sagir reset. He's almost popping out, but... Sagir a lot of effort, though. There's oh, the tap. There's yeah. the tap. Yeah. The effort paid off. That was all or nothing for him, though. You could tell that he was yeah. leaving it all in that... Your tap out came at two minutes, 36 seconds of the first round for your winner by guillotine submission, Abe the Killer, El Sagir. You know, his, the his, new WXC lightweight champion. His crowd did all of that uh, coordinated chanting without cue cards. Congratulations to you, Abe, the killer. You fought another guy from Dearborn. Did you know him? Did you know your opponent before you fought? I heard he trained a couple times where I trained there, but I never trained with him. I appreciate him stepping up. Everybody, thank you for showing up, especially DJJ, Michigan Top Team, everybody. DJJ is here. This is just the beginning for me. I'm only 21. I'm just getting started. Let's get it, baby. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. Congratulations for your performance. Who do you got to thank for your performance? And what do you want to say to everybody else that's in here, all your fans, friends, and family? I want to thank three of my coaches, Coach Tony Ali and then Anthony. Thank you for Mike for getting this done. I appreciate you. WXC is an amazing show. Robert, thank you for everybody. I'm ready for next, man. All right, what does that belt mean to you, and who do you want next? Are you going to call anybody out? Mr. Mike Pettinelli and Mr. Norbert Pastor are right here. You're talking to the main two people you got to talk to. If you can get it matched up, let's get it. I know this is going to be hard. There you go. Anything else? That's it. I appreciate everybody. Give us an alien. Ladies and gentlemen, the new WXC lightweight champion, Abe the Killer, Al Sagir.